Hello, this is Michaela, our studious octopus, and I'm here today doing the June 2017 UK Glossy Box Catcher. So I've had the chance to try all of our six items that we got in this box. It was a deluxe extra item box, which was nice. And just sort of talk about how I feel about them now. Uh, those items that I thought I would like, I remember saying I think I'm pretty sure I would like that I actually just really don't and other items that actually I was much more impressed by than I thought I would be. So I'll just get into it. So what was first off? First off was the Beauty Pro Black Diamond Peel Off Mask. And this is it here. I gave it a, a, a use and there is the, the peel off mask bit. Uh, it was okay. I think that, that that's basically my feelings on it. Well, how much was this mask? It was £1.65. It's actually a pretty nice affordable mask. It had a really thick consistency. It went on fine. I actually applied it all over my face rather than the T-zone because while I think this said you could get two applications per sachet, there's, there's no like there's no sensible way to store it at that point so I do think if they wanted to sell a set where it was three amounts of seven grams and each seven gram is two sachets they should probably put 21 grams of product in like a pot and say just use it on your t-zone I suspect that would be way more practical than three sachets and saying sort of use them up where you were because I thought the amount in the sachet is, was a lot to just use on the T-zone and then I would have wasted it, which seemed a shame. Anyway, it felt nice on the skin. I don't think it particularly peeled that much out of my skin, as in it wasn't like super, super aggressively adherent, which is good because too much is just bad for your skin and you're gonna damage your skin by pulling and tugging at it. But also it's good that it didn't peel, pull off out at that anything that impressive because that means really my skin isn't particularly decongestant congested which is nice because they take care of it fairly well would i go out and buy more of these i'm not sure i would bother it's not that it's bad it's just that i think i have to, i would have to order these online to get a hold of them whereas i could just go into boots or anywhere else and just grab a face mask for one two three pounds that's probably just as nice so not bad not in ex not expensive or unaffordable but just you know not so amazing i'd run out and get more uh, next up was the 111 skin space defense bright eye lift gel which i've uh, pretty much all used up it was enough to use it for about a month as it was dispensing which is the point i wanted to make i thought a single pump was actually a little too much product to, to do sort of the area it was suggesting it felt like there was just a little bit too much it felt just a little wasteful how sort of much you were getting single pump and then when it's just a single pump you can't really do anything else with the excess other than using it somewhere else it's gonna just dry up if you try and save it it was nice enough it is one of those gel type um eye creams where i always find that slightly uncomfortable almost in that they're trying to make it so that the skin around your eyes can't move because the gel kind of sets on your face which isn't what I prefer I kind of do personally prefer the more sort of creamy moisturizing eye gel so just on that alone this probably wouldn't be a this one is for me I did also find that this one it, it was quite tacky on the under eye for a long long time which I'm not sure how well that's going to wear with makeup very well and I still do think it's just so expensive for what it is it was £110 for the full size I don't think it particularly did that amazingly for £110 it's not like I suddenly feel like my under eyes are like baby skin soft as I've said before with a lot of anti-aging things I'm not quite the right target audience yet I suspect to notice dramatic differences when I'm trying these products but it just didn't really feel I'm never I don't think I'm ever going to say that 110 pound for 15 ml of products is worth it you could try the um, anatomicals no bags allowed under eye gel theirs is a sort of dry on clear gel type one and I think that's like £10 so th there's just too many alternatives for me to say that this would ever be worth it. Uh, next was the Sleek Makeup 
Power Plump Lip Crayon. Uh, and this is the product that I definitely said in this, in the initial unboxing video, I thought I would really like. I didn't like this at all. It looks like it would be way more um, pigmented than it is. When you swatch it, you can really sort of see the pigment. It's like this quite nice darky nudish colour and what I've found and what other people I have read online because I, I was looking up about this product have found is that it doesn't seem like it's actually that pigmented when you try and wear it on your lips which is a bit disappointing because it is very 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 pronouncedly tingly but not just that but it lasts for like 20 minutes it feels like 20 minutes it lasts for a very long time for while i do think it made my lips look slightly bigger it wasn't such a huge effect that it felt like it was worth it tingling for 20 minutes and not particularly having much color payoff so it just felt kind of disappointing it was uncomfortable to wear it didn't make such a massive difference to feel worth the uncomfortableness and it wasn't it didn't you couldn't tell all that much that I was wearing something on my lips which if that's what you're looking for sure but I just feel like it wasn't worth it and I don't feel like I'm gonna reach for this over and over again I just feel like it's gonna get put in the back of a drawer and forgotten which is a bit disappointing so the sleek power power plump yeah just not for me which is a shame it's not a huge loss it's only £5.50 of the box value but yeah, I just don't think it was that good. I suspect if you're looking for something that will give you a pronounced pouty effect, there's probably better products out there. If you're looking for a nude, easy to use crayon lippy, there's better products out there. Oh, and apparently you do just have to sharpen this. It doesn't have twist up top, which I think is weird, really weird because this is plastic but it's just expecting you to sharpen it anyway, which I don't like. I suspect that's going to ruin a sharpener. So I am really tempted to actually just get rid of this. I really don't think I will ever use it, which is unusual for me. Like there'll be boxes, there'll be items in boxes where I'll go, you know, I'm less fussed about this or like it's a lipstick color, which you only really wear at certain types of the times of the year or at certain events. But for this, I'm just thinking, I don't like this, I'll never use it. <laughs> but there we go, that's the sleek power pout lip crayon pencil thing. That's my feelings on it, on it anyway. Uh, next up was the Himalaya Since 1930 Purifying Neem Face Wash, which is a relatively affordable, and it's three pound for the full size, which is 150. This is a deluxe sample. Value-wise, it seems fine. It has an interesting, strange smell, which I'm assuming is just what the neem smells like, because I still don't particularly know what that is. I haven't bothered to look it up, but it seems fine. It, it works fine on my skin, it didn't irritate my skin. I can see why if you were sensitive to tea tree, because I know some people are genuinely sensitive to tea tree, maybe that's a good alternative because it sounds like it is um has a lot of the same reasons for using it, but it's not tea tree based. So I guess that could be something for you, but I just think, yeah, it's nice. If it's awkward to get a hold of, I'm probably not gonna go for it. I'm probably quite happy with my um, simple kind of stin skin stuff and my tea tree stuff that I get from Boots. So uh, next up was the Batiste Stylist uh, Oomph My Locks XXL Volume Spray with keratin and Inca Inch Oil Instant Volume. So this was, I think, the product that I, I'm not sure how bothered I was when I first got it, but actually having now tried it, I really like this so I'm using it now I'm not sure how obvious it is but it does feel like it's sort of it's not so much that it's a dry shampoo combined with a hairspray is it's like a, a thickener spray and a texturizing spray it reminds me of there's a Schwarzkopf item that's kind of similar yeah but yes it's sort of coating all the individual hairs and giving them a texture so that they grip each other so that it gives your your hair sort of more body and more volume and a thicker feel and it feels quite nice and I do quite like that it's sort of a 
slash dry shampoo because I do feel like you're getting a slight sort of dry shampoo feeling and it's making your hair sort of look a little nicer and last a little longer but it's not quite full on dry shampoo so if you find those are too drying which I do find dry shampoos too drying sometimes this doesn't feel like it dries my hair and my scalp out anywhere near as much I don't know if that's because it's just a lighter dry shampoo or because it has these um, keratin and oil in it as well but it feels like it makes my hair feel nice and I like how it makes my hair look so I'm actually really impressed with the, the new Batiste stuff and this is £4.29 which seems fairly affordable. It's the bigger size one which is 200 millilitres, yeah. And it also has that element of you're not just doing your dry shampoo but you're also doing your styling. So it's like it's you're buying two products in one, it's time saving. I can really see why these why you'd go for these if that when i use this up i might actually get some more of these and try some of their other new ones so actually quite impressed by the batiste stuff yeah and then last up we had the manicada cosmetics sheer glow this was the highlighter with an rrp of 22 pound 50 and we are getting a i suspect not full size one uh, I said in the initial video that this was worth £7, but I think that was actually one third is worth £7.20. So this is worth £14.40. So it's a little more expensive as a highlighter, but probably not the most expensive highlighter I've ever owned. Um, I actually really like it. I suspect for the money, some people are going to say it's not highlighty enough, but um, it depends what you're looking for. It's a very, very natural lightly glowy lightly sort of pinkish toned highlighter which on me because I'm already fairly pink toned it kind of just blends in really nicely with my natural skin tone and just makes me look just a little dewy and you only actually need to use a tiny tiny bit which is nice so I actually also really really like this because I wasn't sure how much I would it's really pretty really low-key natural highlighter which I like and yeah if you're more pink toned I think this would match you quite a bit better which admittedly if you're not pink toned this might not look that nice on you but I really like this I'm really impressed with it so yeah out of the box out of the six items these two stood out for me I think as being my favorites then the mask and the face wash were okay but I'm not sure I'd need to like run out and get them again and I'm just not impressed by the lippy and the eye cream so that is my feelings on this box and there it is there so I will see you again next time hello this is Michaela or studious octopus and I'm here today doing the June 2017 UK glossy box unboxing I'm a little bit behind as I said in my pre hello this is Peter and this is Michaela and this is backwards K call that